day 212 for the vlog and the day rating was a 7 I still had the woke up with the back pain uh, I thought it got a little bit better but I don't know it wasn't it wasn't good enough maybe maybe 10% better of whatever it was at before so still felt like I was struggling, had a stick behind my back, and just pain when I kind of bent over, like leaned forward to pick anything up, so I was almost doing squats all day to get anything, tie the shoes, drop keys, kind of thing. But work was okay. We got another lunch today from our manager, which was great. We got Chick-fil-A and ended up getting two of the grilled chicken club sandwiches, is that right? And yeah, those, those are pretty good, I just still feel hungry, so I came back and had like a small snack of some dry roasted peanuts. And that got me through the rest of the work day. Came back, had another little snack, and I was feeling okay. I could still feel the tension in my back, but I still felt convinced I was good to go. I get to go. I mentally wanted to be good to go, and I needed to get in some runs. So I said, you know what? Go back, like lay down, just let your back rest, even out. And I'll take some of that pressure off, and I can get up, walk the dog, change, go for the run, and see if you can get in two or three miles. Like, don't even go hard. Just nice, easy, and mentally physically tell your body that you're still okay, you still have the cardio, you put in good miles and good work, and you're not going to let go of that cardio. So I went out and did I mean, the first 10 steps, I was like, okay, I don't feel anything, I don't feel anything going up and down or the pressure when I land, so it's a good sign, so I went out a little bit further, got a few minutes out, I was like, still no pain, I still feel a little tight. I could feel the back of my chest and my the back just feel tight like I wanted to stretch or I needed to stretch. But I was like, you know what, at least I'm running. It is what it is. If this keeps me from tweaking it and rotating too much, then it, maybe it's for the better. And I don't feel pain. I think there was a couple times I, once I slid on a little dirt mound it's like a little rock or something, it slid a little bit, and I just felt it tug, but nothing painful, it's just kind of tense. But I ended up going five miles. Um, my pace was not great. Which, again, I wasn't worried about the pace. I'm going to look it up real quick. But I just wanted to get in the time. Let's see, first mile... Jeez, it's 8.25 and 7.58, 8.09, So, if I'm not mad, I could not be running right now. <laughs> so I'll take those miles. Hopefully tomorrow's a little better. I'm supposed to have the track workout at 5. It's now 10.52. I can probably fall asleep the next 10-15 minutes and be okay. I'm just worried about my back. I could feel it when I came back from the run and I was cooking dinner. I made some zucchini noodles and, or sorry, edamame noodles with half of the regular spaghetti noodles and I threw in a bag of peppers and onions and then I had some chicken with it. I just added some of the cauliflower cilantro jalapeno sauce, or dip rather. <clears throat> and it's just light, but gives enough flavor to not be dry. And I had that. That was good. I ate a little bit of a generous bowl. It wasn't too big. I know I haven't been running, so I can cut back calories a little bit and still be okay. And again, there was the protein, the chicken, and then the edamame noodles, so that's good. But 
I, I could tell when I was sitting down to eat the back was a little bit tight so didn't want to move around too much but took a nice hot shower and stretched it out just a little bit try to put my hand on my back and see if there's any tension didn't feel terrible just feels again tight I was able to finish the 100 push-ups already so that's good I noticed the tension on those two didn't feel like a full I mean in full range of motion, just to, that whole stick behind your back situation. <laughs> That's what it felt like. But got those in with no pain. I was hoping there was wasn't gonna be pains. I didn't want to get to 200 plus days and have to start over. So that was really really good. Then I got in some more reading. Oh, oh, excuse me. And probably be done with the book early next week before the race. So that's good. I'm not sure which one I'm going to start next. I'll take a minute over this weekend to look at, look over them, and see which one sounds more intriguing. Besides that, I thought I had a little story today. I don't. There was no training workout with the trainer. So no lifting. Um, track workout tomorrow morning. I'm hoping. I think I went off on a tangent a few minutes ago. I can wake up and be good to go when my back's not too sore. If it is sore, I'll just sleep in, sleep the regular amount, and then go for a run later. Thinking about maybe I have some new shoes to wear for the race next week, and I haven't exactly broken them in yet. I tried them on, and that's about it. So it would be nice to throw them on and see if I don't go to the track workout I can go to this decent size hill a few miles down the road and I can run that a few times and just take my time recovering maybe walk down as much as I would like to run down so that I can get used to leaning forward on the hills I don't know if that impact would be beneficial in the long run it would help of course to practice down out the hills but at the same time I don't want to injure myself before the race so the next 10 days 12 days I'm being very cautious on any extra exercises I do any, any lifts I, I do if I can get back into it but either way if I wake up and I feel great go to the track workout if not I'll go find this other hill it's a little bit just a good incline, nothing too demanding. And see if I'll break in the shoes. If not, I'll find another day in the week to do that. Besides that, that's it. Call it a night. Just run your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.